discuss pupil abnormalities in oculomotor nerve palsy and also pupillary abnormalities in different other conditions. So the preganglionic parasympathetic fibers from the Edinger westphal nucleus relay in the ciliary ganglion and from ciliary ganglion the short ciliary nerve supplies the constrictor pupillae that constrict the pupil and ciliary muscles that increases the lens convexity when it contracts. When the pupil is definitely involved in oculomotor nerve palsy, aneurysm of the posterior communicating artery with or without subarachnoid hemorrhage definitely causes pupillary involvement in third cranial nerve palsy. Rupture of the aneurysm affects the outer side of the nerve. Why? Because pupil fibers are superficial and are nearly always involved in this process. Why and when pupil is peering oculomotor palsy occurs. Pupil spearing oculomotor palsy occurs due to microvascular infarction of the nerve. Why microvascular infarction of the oculomotor nerve does not involve pupil? Microvascular infarction involves the central core of the nerve and the pupil fibers are superficially placed. What conditions cause microvascular infarction? They are diabetes mellitus, hypertension and vascular diseases. Why pupil is commonly involved in oculomotor lesions. Third cranial nerve fibers to the pupil are superficial in subarachnoid space. Therefore, pupil involvement is a common presentation of compression of the nerve, for example, from aneurysm or from a tumor. What are the signs symptoms of a subarachnoid hemorrhage? Sudden severe headache, a stiff neck, and loss of consciousness. Compressive subarachnoid lesions may spare the pupil, may affect some muscles, and and spare the others. Cranial nerve 3 palsy with pupil involvement with pain suggests a compressive lesion such as tumor or a circle of villus aneurysm. Combine oculomotor paresis and sympathetic denervation that is Horner syndrome are virtually pathognomonic of a lesion of the cavernous sinus. When in oculomotor palsy pupil is small, usually pupil is larger in oculomotor palsy. So pupil may be smaller in concom Horner syndrome or aberrant regeneration of the nerve to the pupil. In Horner syndrome, people get a small myotic, but if there is a concomitant oculomotor palsy, so it becomes a small, not dilated. And also, aberrant regeneration of the nerve to the pupil also constrict the pupil. What will be pupillary features in combined oculomotor paresis and Horner syndrome? The pupil will be mid position fixed pupil. What's the difference in the pupil size in oculomotor? oculomotor palsy and in sympathetic nerve palsy. In bright light, oculomotor palsy pupil is dilated and the normal pupil on the other side is constricted. In ocular sympathetic lesions, in dim light, the affected pupil is, is smaller and the normal pupil on the other side is dilated. Why pupil is dilated and fixed in oculomotor palsy? It's due to unopposed action of the dilator pupillae which are supplied by the cervical sympathetic ganglia and why it's fixed fixed due to the loss of pupillary light reflect because oculomotor nerve forms the efferent limb of the pupillary light reflect what's the effect of oculomotor nuclear and fascicular lesions on the pupil oculomotor nuclear lesion causes bilateral midriasis whereas oculomotor fascicular lesions cause ipsilateral midriasis what are the conditions that cause acute pupillary dilatation acute pupillary dilatation dilatation can occur from damage to the ciliary ganglion in the orbit as occur in infection like herpes zoster and influenza or may be due to trauma or it may also occur in ischemic conditions. What conditions cause ischemia of the nerve? Ischemia may occur in diabetes mellitus and temporal arthritis. Head trauma also causes dilated pupil. Pupil which is dilated due to head trauma will also have neurological features and it will have papilledema. What are the causes of pupillary dilatation without cranial nerve 3 palsy and head trauma. It may occur in glaucoma, uveitis and after installation of atropine or scopolamine which dilate the pupil. In these conditions, pupil will be dilated without abnormalities of
of the eye movement. Large pupil without abnormalities of eye movement occur in glaucoma, uveitis and in drug instilled pupil. When does bilaterally small pupil occur? Bilaterally small pupil occur in morphine and heroin addiction. It can also occur in pontine hemorrhage. How to differentiate between an oculomotor nerve palsy dilated pupil and a normally dilated pupil? Oculomotor dilated pupil has denervation hypersensitivity. Pupil will constrict on 0.1% pilocarpine application of very weak strength pilocarpine one tenth that of the normal that normally constrict the pupil. The normal pupil constricts on 1% pilocarpine installation. Number one and number two pilocarpine constrict the pupil of the third nerve palsy but not a pupil that is dilated from an anticholinergic.